Stick around and we'll get right to it. All right, let's start on the back of the truck first. On the back driver corner, I've got the ATOS 120 mounted back here with a Breedlove mount. Maybe that'll focus. There we go. I have really, really enjoyed this mount. That has been rock solid. No, uh, no questions whatsoever. That is one of the best mounts I have ever owned. Up on the front of the truck, I am running for 2 meter and 440 on a Diamond K400. I'm running this Comet antenna. I believe that's a 5 8 wave. I'll have to look and see exactly what the model number is, but it is a Comet that I'm running up here on the front. And I'm giving serious consideration to taking this corner back here on the back passenger side and putting me another Breedlove mount with a Meshtastic antenna. Haven't committed to that fully just yet, but I have figured out that, let's open that tailgate up. I have figured out that if I mount the antenna right here, I can bring the coax right through that hole right there and then maybe tuck a node right here in the corner. I'd have to figure out how to power it or I'm going to have to pull it out and recharge it every so often. Now, taking a look in the back of the truck right now, let's see if we can get this thing to turn around. I've got the Spec 5 Trekker Delta mounted right here, just kind of tucked into that seat, not really mounted. But I keep the rear seats folded up just so I've got plenty of room down here in the base. And that's where I'm keeping that Trekker Delta. So if I'm out and about, I will go ahead and turn this on. It's not a great spot for it. It's obviously being shielded by the metal right here. But there's enough glass going in the other directions that it has worked fairly well for me. Now, even though it's shielded, this thing actually does pretty well right where it's located. And that's why I haven't definitely made up my mind if I'm going to put an external Meshtastic antenna on the truck. There's also the uh, Spec 5 Voyager, I believe they call it. Right now, they only offer that with magnetic mounts uh, for a vehicle. And the problem is this truck is an all aluminum body is so that Voyager is not going to work out for me right now. However, I have heard rumor that they are working on a version of that with suction cups. But with the location of this one right now, I have had fairly good luck using this sense cap. I believe this is the T1000. Um, it's been riding around with me on a day-to-day -day basis right on a belt clip that I've got. So I like to have it out and about. I've been surprised at how many times I've run into other Meshtastic users when I'm out and about. But going back to this device real quick, I was in a restaurant the other day with the family uh, with the truck parked out in the parking lot and could easily get a trace route back to this device. So that means that anything I sent with this particular mesh node would bounce through the truck and then be able to get out at least a little bit better. I do believe though, if I put that antenna on the outside of the truck, well, that's going to improve things once again. And that's why this is always constantly evolving. Now, underneath the passenger seat right over there, you would see the 891 body that's mounted. And then right here under the driver's seat, a little bit of a mess, but I've got the MobiLink TNC4. I also keep a cable right here so I can charge it. Yes, I could probably run a cable over and plug it into that cigarette lighter port right there full time, but I haven't done that. I just use a battery bank when I need to charge this. And honestly, this TNC4, if you cut it on and off, you know, just use it when you're in the vehicle, um, then it probably will last me for a solid week, maybe 10 days of daily driving. And then, of course, we've got the FTM 500 body right here under the seat. Now, let's go ahead and take a look inside the cab. First off, you'll see over here in the map pockets, we do keep a couple of GMRS radios. There's one on this side and there's one on the other side. This is what we're using when we back up the RV. So I like the GMRS because uh, we're licensed to do GMRS type things. Okay, not radio related at all, but over here on my driver's side, uh, on the left of the steering wheel, you've got the TPMS, that's tire pressure monitoring system that I use when we're in the RV. To go along with that, this is a backup camera. This is only active when we're towing, but this gives me a view off of the back of the RV, even when we're driving down the road. Just to the right of that now, we're getting into the radio stuff. Here's the FTM 500. This is a fantastic voice radio. 
it is not a good APRS radio. Now, I suppose if all you're doing is just beaconing APRS and that's all you ever do with it, well, this is okay. But if you want to do anything more with APRS, I definitely wouldn't recommend this radio, and you'll see how I've overcome it here in just a second. Uh, one other thing I will say, this is going away as soon as the Kenwood D750 is released. Now, just to the right of that, and I'm not going to give away too much information on this because I'm still kind of doing a trial run of this, but this is the new Android tablet that I'm running in the truck. I've got this connected to that MobiLink that's in the back seat. That allows me to do APRS very easily from the tablet. It also gives me Woad and some other things. I'll do another video at some point in the future once I've had some time to kind of test this. Here's another thing I don't like about the FTM500. The volume, if you notice the volume level on the B band, which is the APRS band, that is all the way at zero and you can still hear packets when they come in. So that's a little bit annoying. Now, still on the dashboard right here is my cell phone, so if I need to uh, do driving directions, I'm typically running that on this screen here. Just below the tablet is the 891, so all of my HF radio is right here. And I have been very, very pleased with this setup. Between the 891 and the ATOS on the back of the truck, this has been a fantastic radio setup. You can see the microphone for the FTM 500 right there. Uh, there's also usually some HT riding here in the cup holder. Today it happens to be the VX6. And then right here is the microphone for the uh, HF radio. Still haven't found a good place to put that, so I just lay it across the center console right here, and it hangs. i really got to figure that out, but that's just not been top of my priority list. Now, both the HF radio and the tablet is held up with the Lido mount. I can't remember exactly which one this is. I think it's the Pro Max, but it is the telescoping version of this mount. I've been really happy with it, and you can save a few bucks with my code at LidoRadio.com. Now, I step back out of the truck for a second because right here, this is kind of where that center console seat is folded over. Right in there, I do keep, let's see if I can do this one-handed, I do keep a Bluetooth keyboard in here. There we go. That way, if I do want to do uh, maybe a longer email or something like that on that tablet, I can Bluetooth this keyboard to the tablet, and that gives me um, a full keyboard capability without having to use the on-screen keyboard all the time. If you're typing a longer email, I am a touch typist, so having an actual real physical keyboard is handy when you're doing those longer emails. One other thing that I forgot to touch on when we were back here beside the MobiLink is another USB-C cable. This one is connected to a DigiRig, and that DigiRig is connected to the 891. So if I've got a laptop with me, I can do uh, HF type stuff, HF digital work with that DigiRig and the 891. Now, I know this is a constantly evolving station. I am making changes to it almost on a monthly basis with the tablet being the last addition to this. And I know as soon as that Kenwood radio drops, I'm going to be adding it to this setup and getting rid of that FTM 500. But there's a look at the mobile setup as of late summer 2025. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.